Software company Palantir has recently purchased $50 million worth of gold bullion. So should you be investing into gold? In this video, you're going to find out. I'm gonna dive into the gold price, the headlines, and my valuation and buy point for Palantir stock. So this is gonna be a really exciting video, guys, so be sure to stick around all the way till the end, and I think you'll like what I've got for you. Now, before we hop right in, if you're new around here and you do like these investing tips and stock market picks, which I'm personally investing into, then feel free to join the investing family. It's completely for free by hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on. And remember, you do want to join our thriving VIP community and get access to exactly which stocks I'm buying, selling in real time and access my entire six-figure portfolio. Check out that first or second link in the description below for our VIP membership group or our ultimate investing strategy course. And with that being said, let's dive in. Palantir bought $50 million in gold bars in August 2021 as its cash pile has grown to over $2 billion. So this makes sense. Palantir is basically hedging its cash position by purchasing some gold, which is a traditional hedge against inflation. But one of the major reasons this is a major surprise is the fact that many large technology companies now are actually buying Bitcoin instead, which has been called the digital gold, is a hedge against inflation. We have PayPal, we have Square, we have Tesla. They've all been buying Bitcoin for these very same reasons but palantir despite being an advanced software company has gone old school and purchased gold i love gold the look of it the taste of it the smell of it the texture so is this a good deal for palantir well personally i think so because if you check out the gold price chart here as you can see right here guys gold has been on a monster run of course if we go but go to the 20-year chart Gold has consistently climbed higher and higher and higher. And then, of course, when 2020 came and trillions of dollars in stimulus packages was pumped into the economies all over the world, the gold price shot up even more. And, of course, there was a crisis which also caused the gold price to skyrocket. However, right now, the gold price is down substantially. So it went from over $2,000 per ounce and it's now at $1,800 per ounce. So really, this is quite a nice correction, and I think that is why Palantir has pounced on this opportunity to add some gold to strengthen their balance sheet. So how can you potentially invest into gold if that's what you want to do, and how much gold should you have in your portfolio? Well, personally, with regards to gold in your portfolio, many institutional investors actually have around 5% gold in their portfolio is a hedge against this inflation. And many investors these days tend to also have 5% Bitcoin as another hedge against inflation. So how can you actually invest into gold easily without going to buy some gold bullion bars and storing them under your mattress? Which is one option. Well, the second way of doing this is you can basically invest into what's called the iShares Physical Gold ETC. So this is basically a fund and they own a lot of gold and a vault in Switzerland. And you basically invest into a portion of that gold, which is in this vault in Switzerland. Now, now, this is a secure vault. And as many of you guys may know, Switzerland has been a neutral country in the various wars. So it's a pretty safe place to store your gold. And iShares has actually purchased this gold and they're selling it in segments. So you can purchase from as little as $1. Now, option number three, there's also gold mining companies such as Barrett Gold, which Warren Buffett actually invested into before selling out. Now, this was actually really strange again because Warren Buffett historically hates investing into gold because he states it's not a productive asset and he is correct gold doesn't produce anything it just sits there looking shiny but when the s hits the fan as they like to say and things go wrong and there's a crisis especially with the money supply then gold has been the historic hedge against these type of crisis okay so what about palantir the software company which is actually one of my favorite companies and i've covered it many times well i'm going to give you a brief overview of palantir and reveal to you guys my valuation and buy point for this stock. Is Palantir still a buy or is it still overvalued? Palantir was founded by Peter Thiel, who was the co-founder of PayPal, along with the legendary Elon Musk. 
and Dr. Alex Karp, who also has a net worth of around $2 billion. Now, this is quite an eccentric guy. Um, if you've watched any of these videos recently, he's usually wandering in some snowy forest talking about Palantir. It's clear he's passionate about the company, um, and he's, he's a little bit of a visionary. He's a bit crazy. He's a bit quirky, but of course, he's also highly intelligent. So that's Palantir. We hop into their latest quarter. This is the Q2 earnings. Q3 isn't out yet. So 49% revenue growth and commercial revenue growth 90% year over year. So for those of you guys which don't know, Palantir was originally funded and backed by the CIA. And they have many large government contracts from the Department of Defense to the Department of Immigration and many, many more. They've even got a major contract with the National Health Service or the NHS in the UK, helping to supply and actually organize their V-shots for the UK citizens. So what problem does Palantir solve? Well, many large corporations actually have data in multiple silos. And what Palantir does, which is really a big data analytics company, is it brings this data together in one place with a nice dashboard so people can actually control their data, the flow of the data, and actually use their data to make correct decisions. Now, when Palantir first started, the CEO and founder, Alex Karp, who also has a large insider holding in the company, which is one, one of the main factors I look for, when investing into any business, he was actually going around to each major corporation and selling the product himself. But now they've hired over 100 salespeople and they've actually done a sales partnership with IBM. So IBM can help to sell Palantir software. Okay, so what's my valuation and buy point for Palantir stock? Well, I've actually got an advanced valuation model right here, guys, which I filled out for you. I've plugged in all the numbers for you, so I'm, so I'm not going to bore you with the details here, guys, because usually these days, most people stop watching when we talk about the real hard, cold numbers. But as you can see here, these are the numbers here, plugged in around a billion dollars in revenue, 45% growth, heavy losses at the moment, which is the major issue with Palantir. So they lost, so they're losing around $1.2 billion in revenue, and they're only making around $1.3 billion in revenue. So that's the major issue at the moment. They do have heavy losses. They are doing a lot of investment at the moment, so hopefully that pays off. 45% revenue growth next year and 30% for the next two to five years is what I've predicted and is actually what Palantir is stating they want to achieve. It was previously higher around 50%, but they've scaled it back now, which is quite interesting. So plugging in all these numbers and even carrying across their losses from the past year, so over $3 billion in losses, so they'll pay no tax on that. We get a fair value of $9 per share. Now, this is a lot lower than the current price, which is $25 per share. Now, interestingly enough, companies like ARK Invest were actually loading up at around $20, $25 per share. So the company IPO'd $9 per share. It then went up by 282%, so effectively a free X. So fantastic returns there. $35 per share. And now there's been a correction down 26%. It's been hovering around this $20, $25 range for the past few months, so we'll see where it goes from here. $50 billion market cap. It is overvalued at these levels according to this valuation model. However, I have compared this to another valuation model just for you guys, and that says the fair value is around $20 per share. So you could say between $9 and $20 are good positions to start adding, maybe starting a small position around $20 per share or less. Effectively, $18 was a good price that it had support previously. And then if it did drop to around $10 per share, which I don't think it will, I think this will be one of those companies which will stay quite elevated for some time, then you could effectively load up the truck at those levels. Okay, so that's today's video, guys. What are your thoughts on Palantir stock? Do you think Palantir could 5x in the future? I'd love to hear your thoughts, guys. So please do comment below. Do you think this company could be an absolute game changer? If you did find value in this video, feel free to give it a big thumbs up. That helps out tremendously with the channel. And remember, if you do want to join our thriving VIP community and get access in real time to exactly which stocks I'm buying, selling, my entire six-figure portfolio, join a thriving community of investors, and even get access to our ultimate investing strategy course, all for around $20, $25 per month on the annual membership, then feel free to check out that first link in the description below. And memberships will be closing in the next 48 hours for this month. So if you do want to sign up, now is the right time. I'll also leave a $10 discount code down there. So it will effectively cost you just $10 for the first month. So if you do want that, guys, or you do want to become financially free ultimately and lock in that discount right now, then link below. You can find out more details and see if it's for you. 
Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have an incredible day and I wish you luck in the market and I'll see you in my next video. Invest safe.